Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for the end of the sh week shave, a Friday shave. And uh, lucky I'm going to be trying out some new products today. In fact, I think pretty much with the exception of the shave bowl and the aftershave, 100% of these items I'm going to be using today are brand new. So, uh, with the risk of not wanting to sound like a commercial, I read your comments, I will just kind of show you what these products are. And uh, th these ones, uh, the bulk of them, come from eShave. And eShave is a, a shaving company that uh, has been out there uh, since 1996, and uh, maybe you've seen them in uh, uh, some of the department stores. I always read your comments and it's, have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried this? And sometimes I haven't, so sometimes uh, I end up uh, reaching out to these websites and uh, uh, picking up some items. And this one, uh, several of you guys have already heard about. So if I'm preaching to the choir, you know, don't, uh, don't hold it against me. But eShave has uh, some, uh, first of all, razors, shaving cream, pre-shave oil. And I'm gonna be trying the razor the pre-shave and the shave cream today. And the shave cream is the white tea shave cream. And I'm opening all of these for the first time. So you're saying, hey, you know, when you're trying these products, how objective are you? And I'm trying them for the first time. So if they mess up, you're gonna see it live. These aren't retakes. I'm not shooting two of them. You're gonna see me using these for the first time so you can see firsthand whether they work or not. And then you'll be the judge. Go to their website, check it out. You can be the judge. It's sealed. Wow, that's uh, that's hard soap. All right, it's not really. So I am gonna. Oh, does smell like tea. It's got a really nice smell to it too. Being from England, I smelled tea a lot growing up, and it's funny. It's almost like I rebelled because uh, I drink coffee now. So, <laughs> so this is a soft shave cream. Look at that. Very soft shave cream. So I'm going to be using this for the first time today. And I'm going to use it along with the white tea pre-shave. Now you've seen, I've used pre-shave oils. I use a lot of pre-shave cream. In fact, <clears throat> uh, there we go. I've used uh, the Brothers Grimm oil and the Art of Shaving oil. So I have used quite a few oils, but uh, this again is the white tea. And that smells more like tea. The other, the other smells uh, very, very nice, like a, a like, almost like a barbershop-ish smell, uh, but a hint of tea. This one, very, very nice tea smell. And that is uh, the pre-shave, so I'll be using that. The razor, is a three-piece razor and I'm not sure where it's made it doesn't say where it's made but uh, look at that this is a really nice handle now my hands slick right now so I'm hoping I can hold on to it but this is gonna give me a good a good uh, way to grip it it's almost like you could put a uh, o-ring on there and uh, have a have a rubber grip there this is a three-piece razor Trying it for the first time, so I'm showing you. All right, looks like it's got a very mild head on it. And it is a three piece. And it came with Aster blades. So yeah, I was gonna use some Asters. I have used some in the past. Here's one of my grizzly ones, you know, see? That just came out of my razor. So I have used Asters in the past. So I am familiar with them. Some of you people say that it's your, uh, your go-to blade. But uh, we'll open this one up. We'll put it in the razor. Ah, man. Superior platinum. Superior platinum. But man, the, uh, the writing on this brand new one is definitely faded. We'll load it up in here. Get my voice back. 10 days, stupid sinuses. 10 days. Let's lock this razor in. <clears throat> it's a nice thick handle though. And my blade on this razor lines up very even. See that? Very even. 
Now in the photo for this video, you've probably seen a cool shave stand. And uh, this comes from an artist, and he didn't even want me to put this in my video, okay? So uh, this isn't a commercial for the artist. He didn't even want me to. I think it's pretty cool, and I want to put it in the video. And uh, since it's my channel, I can do it, right? But uh, what I was going to do is, uh, you've seen the crystal skull. And he saw the crystal skull, and he goes, hey, man, this might be a kind of a cool item uh, to go next to your crystal skull to hold your razor. And... Uh, it holds the razor pretty good. Now, he told me this glows in the dark, so he says, don't be freaked out. So that's just pretty cool. Up and coming or already established artist, Sellers Bergener, very nice. And what I'm not using in the video, but I thought was pretty cool, is he gave me something that he's using as a blade bank. I don't know if he, I, well, I know he makes the stands, but uh, I don't know if he makes these boxes, but I thought that coffin box was pretty cool and he sent me some high karate uh shave oil or oil high karate oil that actually is available on ebay and when i try that out i'll put the link in here for you and all the links for all of these are going to be in the uh, uh description of this video now the brush intrigued me because see behind me there i don't know if you can quite see i got a ton of brushes but this is the first one ever look at that it's a flat top I haven't seen a flat top like that since Animal House with Daniel Simpson Day or D-Day. Here's a scene. Daniel Simpson Day has no grade point average. All courses are incomplete. Yeah, that is a flat top, but I don't know how a flat top... All of mine are rounded. So this is I'm very intrigued to try this out. And this is from DS Cosmetics again. I showed you like a couple of times ago. So I'm going to try it out, all right? We're going to see how these all work today. Got so much stuff in front of me. I need to move some things around. Maybe my Diet Coke, <clears throat> in case my voice goes out. If you're expecting a 12-minute video today, it's probably going to run a little longer. All right, I'm going to put the brush in here. It's a synthetic, doesn't really need to be soaked, but you know, there she is. Halloween's coming up. I got this at Home Goods. You should be able to get one of those uh, Home Goods or eBay. A lot of the skulls and everything are going to be available on, uh, on the stores or online more frequent now. So if you haven't got one and you're looking, you're probably going to find one there. All right, last but not least, I'm going to use the Captain's Choice Shave Bowl and I'm going to put some of that soap in it right now. You see, I never quite know how much to put in because each shave soap's a little different. So I scooped, I scooped some and put it right in there. I'll move this out of the way. You know, there's a lot of brush companies out there, a ton of them. I've never seen a flathead brush. Maybe I'm late to the party. Have you guys seen one? All right. I don't usually I put oil on our face. I don't usually put water on it too, but uh, I want to make sure I get my, uh, my, my beard really wet. Good, it's thin oil. Very mild scent. A lot of you guys don't use uh, shave oil. I don't want to get cut. That's why I use it especially down here. The Art of Shaving has something like that size, but they run out quick and they're a little spendy. And I've looked online here and these gents at eShave are a little more reasonable. And they do have, uh, I believe they have cartridge razors too, but I'm more interested in their DE razor. Right. All right, synthetic brush. All right. Someone said, you sure that wasn't you farting, Ken? There you go. The air freshener just fired off. <laughs> Are you sure that's an air freshener? It seems to happen every five to ten minutes. So, All right. Well, I tell you one thing. The flat top is really going to work on the lather. Very, very nice smell. 
Holy cow, that's thick. Wow, usually it's been the opposite. You've seen that in the past with my, uh, my videos. Usually I put it on too thin. Wow, you're seeing it. That brush spreads it nice. Dare I say, like a paintbrush? All right. Always I wet the uh, razor. Okay, that's not a super mild razor. I got a good growth. It's taking it down on one pass. So don't be fooled. Yeah, that's. I don't want to say that's like a Mula R41, but. You know, the mild razors usually have to do a few. That's knocking it down very quick. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Well, that's not a mild razor. Or maybe it's the blade. But it's working great. All right, this is definitely cutting the hair, the beard, better than the Mercura 34G, which I consider to be one of my go-to razors, or 34C, that one, my go-to razors. That, that cut it really good. Look at that, paint. Oops, I missed a spot. I'll get that on the second pass. So you're seeing it, you're hearing it, all for the first time. Okay, I can feel a little feedback right there, where I missed some. Hear that? go to these guys' sites, you can see that I believe this comes in two colors. I believe blue and black. Since it's cutting really good, I want to be quiet around this pass. the grain on my neck. And that's because on me, the hair on my neck grows at an angle like this. So down is with the grain, up is against it, and it almost gets at 100%. Across the grain doesn't really matter for that. Good soap, I can't get it out of the razor.
Now, if you watch my videos, you probably see that I don't often use so many new products at once because if something goes wrong, what it was it? Was it the soap? Was it the pre-shave? Was it the blade? Was it the razor? That one worked great. Whew. And the soap's very thick. I don't tell the prices on this, because quite honest, I could be telling you wrong from what I, what I remember. Uh, but online, on those links, you can see it all. I guess if I was telling prices, I would sound like a commercial. It can be yours for $29.99. Ah, there it is. Didn't put this in the photograph. You know, on this one, I've got a photograph. Sometimes you'll see on the uh, YouTube, it'll use a photo of me shaving it. It'll grab the photo. This one, I actually... put on there because I wanted you to see that cool shaver stand. I get on the freeway on the 405 freeway by my house and they've got a huge poster of a skull now and it says not scary farm Halloween haunt and if you're familiar with Southern California you know we have Disneyland we have not scary farm but every year not scary farm does their haunt night and uh I, last time, last year was the first time I'd been in probably 15 years, Elvira's last, uh, uh, last time at Haunt Night. So I went last year and I, I had so much fun. I went with my cousin. I haven't hung out much with him in 20 years. So we went and, uh, like two old men got lost in the fog. They put so much fog and, uh, uh, dry ice out there. I couldn't figure out where I was going. I ended up stuck on a ride I didn't want to go on, but that's coming up again. So every morning I'm heading to work, I see this skull. So I know skulls and Halloween are almost here. All right, Polo Red. Oh yeah, that is one close razor. You know how I tell? By the intensity of that burn. But it's so close. No cuts. Hey, I'll deal with that. I'll live with that. Well, that was very, look at the flat top. Very interesting. Wow. And that's the first time in my life I've ever used a flat top razor. And it actually worked pretty damn surprisingly good. All right. Well, if you guys get a chance, go visit their websites. Enough said. Thank you for watching me. I do appreciate it. Uh, we're getting close to 7,000 subscribers now. I can't believe it. Uh, we're like 100 and something away. I'll do another giveaway. You know, uh, now that it's over, that last giveaway, someone might have noticed. Uh, I had three prizes. And I said, if you don't contact me within two weeks, you know, you, uh, you, know, you forfeit the gift, the prize. Two guys. Uh, the winner, the, the prize won. The guy contacted me like right away. The other guys never did. And it's been now two months or something. So uh, I think next contest I do, I'm going to have to maybe pick more winners or some backup ones. So if they don't, how weird, huh? You enter a contest and you never check to see if you won or not. It's, you know, And just like the lottery, lottery in California, it expires. So, uh, so next time when I have a contest, you guys check it out. If you're the winners, I want to mail them. All right. Until next time, uh, Ken Surf saying have a great night. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, uh, Sellers Bergener, for sending me some cool items. Uh, really cool items. And that high karate does smell like the legit stuff that I've got up there buried behind there. And it fits, fits perfect in the coffin. And there's a blade he uh, gave me to try. You guys heard of this one? I haven't tried it yet. Maybe you can tell me if you've heard of it. I don't know where they're even made. Sharp Star. He says uh, this is his favorite blade. Does it say where they're made on the box? See, I got the box here. Sharp Star. Haven't tried them yet. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe Germany. Very cool. I'll have to give them a shot. Usually I've heard of most of the blades, but not that one. Let me know, guys. Have you heard of it? What do you think?
I'll have to try it next time. All right, have a great weekend. Maybe we'll get one out on Sunday. Uh, thank you for watching. I got a chance to catch up on watching some other guys' videos. Uh, uh, Kevy shaves, uh, the Suffolk shaver, Paul H. It was really good, uh, another cut above. I was getting a chance to catch up on a lot of stuff this week, so it was nice. So I got a few comments in. And, there, and I noticed there's a bunch of you who have started your own shaving channel. And uh, I, I'm subscribing as soon as I see them. And congrats, man. Way to go. Way to go, because that way you're taking it into your own hands and uh, you become your own director, producer, actor, editor. It's kind of fun. So good luck, and uh, I'm sure your subscribers are going to go through the roof. Takes a little while and whew, takes off like a rocket. All right, till next time. It's Ken Sir saying have a great night.